Arthur. I've thought about it all night. Maybe people who live in glass houses shouldn't throw stones. You mean just because you and I are having an affair, we should avoid criticising Miss Laker and Mr Taylor for doing exactly the same thing? Mm, that's what I mean. You feel that way out of a sense of justice or a sense of danger? Well, I suppose it's a danger. Yes, I would have been surprised if it had been the justice. Well, personal morality has never been grounds for dismissal in this company. Do you think we ought to start a trend? Well, you and I have been very discreet, Sophie. I think the worst we have to worry about is being guilty of a little hypocrisy. And since I'm already guilty of far worse, adultery, for example, I'm not bothered. No, you're right, my darling. It's a terrible thing, the way the chief purser and chief engineer are carrying on on that ship. I think Mr. Lansing ought to know. Yes, a terrible thing. <laughs> Yeah? Oh, sorry. What is it? The captain wants to see you. About Sandy? I think so. Oh, yes, all right. I don't want any water or anything. Come on, you're dehydrated. I don't care if I'm dehydrated. I just want to be dead. I'm just trying to make things easier for you. like a saint. Why did you have to interfere? Oh, go away. Does anyone know why the girl tried to kill herself? Apparently because Peter Nuttall broke off their engagement. And people wonder why I take such a dim view of personal relationships between members of the crew. So that's all it was, hmm? A broken engagement. Essentially, yes. Do you know where she got the drugs? No, I don't. She wouldn't tell me. Does it matter? Yes, it does. If someone on this ship gave her the pills, then he or she is guilty of aiding and abetting. What? If she got the drugs from a crew member, then that crew member could be charged with attempted murder. To tell you the truth, as far as I'm concerned, they should have let her kill herself if that's what she wanted. Does that surprise you? Unfortunately, no. You think it's cruel? I think it's you. Oh, you fancy you know a lot about me, do you? Not anymore. You never did. Why don't you go back down to the engine room where you belong? <laughs> I beg your pardon? I run this ship when John's not here. I've never been ordered off a bridge in my life. Then it's about time you had the experience, isn't it? Look, Charles. Look, if you're unhappy about my decision, why don't you take it up with John? If he's not too drunk. You're crazy. Get off the bridge, Matt. I'm going to say two things to you. And I'd listen. First, for eight hours out of every day, you're the officer of the watch. And theoretically, you outrank me. But for the other 16, you serve at the pleasure of Captain Anderson, myself, and Miss Laker. You're out of line. Just bear it in mind. And also bear in mind the fact that Tom Kelly outranks you when he holds the watch. Are you through? No. Now, the other thing I want to bring to your attention is what will happen if you try and move John out by making a phony report upstairs. You mean a real report? Tell me what will happen. An inquiry will be held. And if you file the complaint, you'll be viewed with a certain element of suspicion. Now, I can't speak for Miss Laker. If and when they query the senior officers, you can bet that they're not going to get anything but bad news out of me about you. Are you through? Yeah. Now, get the hell off this bridge. My friend, you're overplaying your hand. I'm going to go and get some breakfast. Can I bring you anything? No. Stay put. As if I have any choice. My legs feel like soggy spaghetti. I wouldn't leave you alone here if they weren't. This is what makes me so sick. Good. See if you can bring up some more of those tranquilizers. How is she? All right. Wobbly, but all right. Can I go in? Yeah, sure. But if she asks you to leave, leave. Sure, I will. I'll be back. Right. Well, I'm sorry, I don't agree. I think it would have been better if I hadn't told her. Oh, come on, Sandy Carl. tried to kill herself because I told her I'm gay. Would it have been any different had it come later and from somebody else? 
I don't know. I never meant to hurt her. But shall I tell you something? Have you got any idea what this means in terms of my job? It means I won't have a job. Because word's gonna get round that Sandy McCormack tried to kill herself because of Peter Nuttall. Oh, I'm sure nobody's gonna say... What, you don't think say... word's gonna get round? Or well, you don't think I'm gonna be in a load of trouble and it does? You're a dreamer, Joe. A very nice person, but a dreamer. And I'm sorry if what I did had anything to do you wanted to. If there's anything you need, just give a whistle, huh? Just need to be alone. It's a long, long way back down to the bottom of the ladder if you tell head office something they don't want to hear. Well, I try to put it to Lansing as delicately as possible. How would you put it exactly? I'd say, Mr. Lansing. Sir. Mr. Lansing, sir, you told me you want Miss Laker removed from her position as chief purser. It's come to my attention that she may be involved in an unprofessional relationship with another member of the crew. Would you like to know more about this? Sir. Right, sir. Is that it there? Mm, yes. Oh, yes, that's it. Just turn your head around. Hold it there a minute. Ah. All right? Mm. Has it ever occurred to you that we've been carrying on a flirtation for a hell of a long time? For adults, I mean. Yes, it has. I often wondered how you got to be such a tease. <laughs> Yeah, that's me, all talk and no action. <laughs> I haven't heard that since I was a teenager. That's my point. What? Well, we're acting like a pair of teenagers. And sometimes I feel we're trying to prove something to somebody. Who? Well, I don't know, some great judge and jury in the sky. What are we trying to prove? Well, we seem to be trying to prove that uh, the inevitable can be postponed indefinitely. And why would we want to do that? I don't know. Nothing would make me happier than getting that bitch off the ship by proving she's having an affair with the chief engineer. She's been nothing but trouble for me since I hired her. But the concept must be approved by head office. I know. I'll phone Lansing in a couple of hours. Oh, patience, my darling, patience. I swear, Tony, I won't tell anyone where I got the pills. If you do... What? You kill me? Good. If you're more successful than I was. I'll go to jail if anybody finds out. You don't hate me enough to send me to jail, do you? I don't hate you, Tony. I just don't care about you either way. Now, is there anything I can do? Anything? You name it, it's yours. Give me some more of what you've got in that box. More of it and stronger. I couldn't do that. Why's a nice little doll want to kill yourself anyway? If you won't help me, Teddy, then just go away, please. I won't tell. Charles. Well, what is it? There are several real issues to be considered before you and I jump into an affair. Jump? I'm getting tired just thinking about how long we've been building up to it. <laughs> Come on, you sit up. Let me lie down. <laughs> jump. <laughs> That's better. Now, what are these real issues we've got to consider? You've got a hair in your eye. Look, I can't think seriously if you do that. That's the first issue. Well, You and I represent two-thirds of the top management on this ship. Don't you think if we were having an affair, charges might be levelled against us that our thinking was being clouded by our personal involvement? 
Well, I'd like to think that my thinking was clouded, whatever happened. Any professional decision we arrived at could be suspect. Secondly, although there's no formal policy against it, John doesn't encourage intimate relationships between crew. Yeah, but we're different. No, oh, I don't think we are. All right, we just have to make sure nobody found out. Somebody always finds out. Has this line of patter done your social life much good in the past? Well, it hasn't hurt it. <laughs> What's the next issue? Credibility with crew. Come in. Yes? I want to talk to you. You know, there's things going on in this ship that I don't know about. What set this line of thinking off? Sandy McCormick. I'm told she tried to commit suicide because Peter Nuttall broke off their engagement. Doesn't feel right to me. You ask too much of yourself. You're a ship's captain, not a psychiatrist. No. I'm sure there's more to it than that. No, I'm not. All I'm saying is, I know why Sandy tried to kill herself. And you know how I know. As long as you stay away from her from now on, you've got no problems. No problems at all. Get out. If we have an affair, your reputation with the crew is enhanced. You're macho. You've scored. I, on the other hand, become a tart. It's a shame about the double standard. Next issue. Alan Lansing. Alan Lansing? Mm-hmm. This could be just the excuse he's looking for to get me off this ship. This is exhausting me. I don't see why. You're just lazing there. I'm having to think the whole thing out. Where are you going? To get change for work. I don't believe it. What? Nothing. Nothing, Kate. It's not easy for me. I'm with Jenny, you know. Don't talk about it if you don't want to. I made up my mind about you a long time ago, Susan. But I... I guess I'm out of practice. Sandy! What are you doing? Leave me alone. You can't go out on deck. Leave me alone, Tom Kelly. It's none of your business what I do. Now, come on. Are you going to walk back to sick bay, or do I have to put you over my shoulder and carry you? You mean you haven't been to sea, Sandy, yet? No. I thought I might make things worse. I wouldn't know what to say to her. Well, I think you'd better work it out. Come in. I'll go and see her now. Captain. Peter? Well, you're looking quite a bit fresher than when I saw you last. Yes, well, I've had a shower. It's not a substitute for sleep, but it does help. You mind if I sit down? Oh, no, please do. You don't often visit me in my office? Is something wrong? I'm not sure. I don't think I've been told the whole story behind Sandy McCormick's attempted suicide. No, I haven't, have I? I can only see one other flaw in the plan. What is it? The chief engineer might get caught up in the net with Miss Laker. They may find it necessary to fire him, too. So what? I'll place the call to Amsterdam. Kate Laker? I find it perfectly amazing that it should be news to you. I'm terribly sorry to have troubled you, Mr. Lansing. I won't take any more of your time. Don't hang up, Parker. It's never been triangle-line policy to meddle in the private affairs of its employees. We can hardly institute a new policy just to get rid of Miss Laker now, can we? No, sir, of course not. But our policy against meddling doesn't mean I'm not perfectly aware of things that uh, go on. Haven't you or your secretary ever heard that people who live in glass houses shouldn't throw stones? Uh, well, of course not. Think about it, Parker, because I still want to run. Not well. You know, they say that life is a road we have to travel. Sometimes I think that road is covered with broken glass. Well, that's not a very cheerful attitude, is it? Well, I don't feel very cheerful. Today seems to be one of those days that fraught with danger. No. It's exhaustion, aggravated by depression and paranoia. It's paranoia, it's reality. It'll be all right, so we'll fail with this plan. So Lansing already knew about Tursen's daughter and Matt Taylor. So what? We'll just revert back to plan A. Plan A? Right. 
Oh, that piece of paper. Right. Come on, stop worrying. Everything's going to be fine. Sandy, will be all right. Yes, I expect you're right. I'm just tired. Yeah. I just need a little sleep. Your place or mine. Oh, please. May I have a word, please? Just a minute. <laughs> What is it? Bad news? Yeah, but it's uh, for you, not for me. Well, what's happened? Your father's dead. Just before he died, he married Marion Carter. 